What's up with it, everybody? It's Shimmy Moya B. And Nicole. We're back here with another reaction video. Special video request from Mars, Mars Blackman. Blackman. Mars is a huge supporter of our channel. He wants to react to top 10 commercials that are iconic to 90s kids. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It is. I'm definitely going to probably recognize a bunch of them. Uh -huh. So we'd like to say thank you, Mars, yeah, thank for your you, support. Thank you, Mars. Let's dive right into right. it. A nostalgia overdose is imminent. <gasps> Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 commercials that are iconic to 90s kids. Creepy crawlers bug maker. You can create a creepy but, insect I remember, I remember wow. that. I remember, I remember the that. toy, but I don't remember the commercial. We publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at commercials aimed mostly at children that yeah, I remember that uh, Chihuahua. Take care. Yo quiero yeah. Taco Bell. Yeah, yo quiero Taco Bell. Number 10, <laughs> Mousetrap. Tom and Jerry the board game. game. Published by Ideal. It's still happening. Yeah, I remember around. that game. I played it yeah. when yeah. my nephew remember. Originally similar to Snakes and Ladders, the game was Snakes redesigned ladders, okay. to help children to actually Me implement their own strategies like to try and capture too. their opponent's mm -hmm. mouse. I definitely remember that. I don't remember the commercials. I do. I, I definitely yeah. remember that. It's yeah. fondly remembered for its catchy commercials, which mixed live action and animation, as an anthropomorphic <laughs> cat taught children how to catch those pesky mice. While new editions of Mousetrap are, are still cute. coming out, yeah. the game will always be associated with these goofy ads. Yeah. Number nine, Hungry Hungry. hungry, hungry I definitely hippos. remember that. Oh, yeah. Hungry Hungry Hippo. Hungry Hungry Hippo. Trends come and go. I played that game a lot. Too. Yeah, hippos I played the game. Are forever. In the late 70s, Hasbro launched Hungry Hungry Hippo. Oh, so it came on the 70s. Part of their Ella Fun and Friends lineup yeah, that included Mousetrap and Gator Golf. Popular. It's always popular. The game was pretty yeah. straightforward. As the player to gobble up the most marbles would be crowned as the winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really is so simple. Hungry game, Hungry Hippos' yeah, best is. commercial involved four colored mascots as they danced in a conga line while singing the game's memorable theme song. Oh, there man. is no forgetting the sight of oh, an animated hippo's shapely posture. Oh, they still sell those games. Mister Worse. Number eight. Fruity Pebbles Flintstones Christmas commercial. Oh, Nothing I screams this I definitely don't, I don't like remember this one, but I do remember watching like a bunch of like Post foods, Flintstones Fruity commercials. Post-foods, Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles were actually kind of groundbreaking, as they were the first cereal created around the media It was amazing, man. That was like one of my favorite cereals. Oh, Bonnie! Since the very beginning, Bonnie, Flintstones were Bonnie, synonymous with the Bonnie, colorful cereal, my pebbles. providing the marketing <laughs> team plenty of opportunities to get creative. <laughs> Arguably, Fruity Pebbles' crowning achievement was their holiday commercial which showed Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble sharing a bowl of cereal with St. Nicholas himself. Yabba dabba fruit, delicious I would definitely remember that. In comparison to the brand's other commercials, commercials. You do? this yeah, ad yeah. was sweet rather than funny. Number seven, Super Smash Brothers. I definitely do. I'm sure you love this. For a period, yeah, fighting each other. Nintendo could do no wrong. <laughs> By the late 90s, the Japanese company had amassed an expansive the... array of iconic characters. I played characters. all the Smash Brothers games, Super Smash Brothers except the latest one that came out. The recent recent one, you mean? Yeah. To complement this got monumental it. occasion, Nintendo there and play with delivered him. the perfect uh -huh. commercial. Uh -huh. that Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. <laughs> Playing the turtles happy together, so fun, Mario, man. Pikachu, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi happily skip through a field before the plumber takes out the green dinosaur and yeah. instigates an all-out war. I think that's Super Smash Brothers melee. I think Nintendo captured lightning what the game footage they showing. This one. Only on Nintendo 64. Yeah, no, that was Super Smash Brothers, the first one. Easy Bake melee oven. was on game. Oh Field yeah. For kids. The Easy Bake Oven was marketed as an appliance for the prepubescent crowd. Oh, I remember those. My sister, one. my sister had one of those. Introduced by Kenner Products, who hired Jim Henson to create a Muppet mascot, I this was the company eventually thing, became though. part of Hasbro, who it, launched a series like of iconic was. Easy Bake Oven commercials in the early 90s. I remember seeing them in the 90s a lot. It's about to bake. Now Broadcast repeatedly on Nickelodeon. The Make you feel like a little chef. of the product. With multiple girls baking their own chocolatey cupcakes. Oh gosh, yeah. With no yeah. mascot in sight, these commercials actually sold the Easy Bake Oven I mean, on its really own merit. Yeah, it, that yeah, it came did. Out yeah, it did. <laughs> Operation. Oh, yeah. The Definitely remember that. Prior to I remember Operation. The Operation silly and frantic commercials match the absurdity yeah, of the board. Operation. The water on the knee. Operation. The goal was for players to use tweezers to remove yeah. the patient's body Once you get buzzed, I guess you I really lose. thought that was an order, order game, too. Successful oh. Operation. Over the years, Milton Bradley and Hasbro have released tons of Operation ads, oh, okay. but the game was so really older. popular in the 90s. Throwing in an addictive jingle and a ton of cartoons, Operation's commercial is simultaneously hilarious and kind of terrifying. 
Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Red nosed dude is crying out for help. How's it look good to me? Number four. Operation. Holly Pocket. Oh, no fun in my playhouse. Yeah, I don't remember that. I uh, well, yeah, I, do. I know yes, I do. the toys. I didn't have them. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah. Yeah. This is the original Polly Pocket was a portable playset that included a dollhouse and small figurines. Although the toy's design was later changed hmm. by Mattel. I'm Polly Pocket. Want to see what's new? <laughs> yeah. The brand came with its own <laughs> I don't know if I commercial who lunch, whimsically but... opened I do. the majority of these commercials. Besides Polly's animated cameo, Mattel's ads were accompanied by a fantastic jingle with an insanely simple but infectious chorus. Polly Pocket. <laughs> Polly Pocket. <laughs> Depending on the version of Polly Pocket being sold, Mattel updated the commercials accordingly, and they never half-assed it. Number three, Hot Pockets. Yeah, I definitely you know remember what? that. Hot Pockets. I still tomorrow. like Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets are a staple oh, yeah, of American those were cuisine, such a popular and the microwavable yeah. foods ad campaign deserves most of the boy. credit. Come out too hot, come out too hot, boy. Burn a roofie I mean, yeah, Find your mouth. Find pizza and sandwiches, Ooh. a match made in heaven. The commercials only needed to make Hot Pockets hungry. seem tasty, yeah. and they passed with flying colors. It was good, man. Focusing on the food's instantly ready nature, children but only need to snap their pizza rolls for a Hot, hot Pocket to be in their hands. Oh, I love pizza the rolls. The brand's What Are You Gonna Pick slogan ensured Hot Come Pockets down would below. be flying pizza rolls off the shelves. Hot Pockets, which like better. What about Bagel Bites? Oh yeah, I'm gonna try Lean Pockets too. Yeah. Number lean two, pockets, pockets. Yeah. Yeah. I remember those. I oh yes, this commercial 100% all the time. Yep, I remember yes. this. And he's like. Yeah. Turning campy yeah. into an art form. Yep. In the 90s, Mentos Fresh Maker commercials were numerous and inescapable. Whether you loved or hated them, this oh, campaign yeah. was far reaching enough to warrant a mention in 1995's uh -huh. Clueless. Mentos, the and was breath parodied fresh, brilliantly the fresh by the Foo Fighters in their video whatever. for Big Me. <laughs> fresh fighter, the commercials fresh maker. depicted people struggling to overcome small issues before digesting a Mentos and figuring out a solution. The Freshmaker title refers to the passionately sung jingle, which can still pick at the heartstrings of the coldest viewer. Fresh goes with Mentos, fresh and full of life. Mentos, the Freshmaker. Before we unveil our number one pick, <laughs> here are some honorable oh, mentions. It's like the. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I remember that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lego Maniac! I remember that too. <laughs> you do? I don't yeah. remember that one. <laughs> I do kind of remember the bucket. Yeah, Mr. bucket, Mr. bucket. Yeah, I kind of remember that, yeah. But the balls will pop out. Number one. Balls will pop Guess out. Who? I remember that. Sadly, yeah. the Guess who? not really come to life. I do remember Guess the commercial. Guess who is the perfect game to bring out someone's inner Sherlock as the players try to figure out their opponent's chosen I card. played that game, yeah. too. You wear glasses? Yes. You're we definitely yeah. had that one. You win. So how do you sell such a simple concept? Yeah. Obviously, using talking cartoon heads. Yeah. Guess whose ads depicted the characters coming to life as floating caricature? After achieving sentience, the cartoons would engage in some witty and kid-friendly banter. I don't know how good those games are selling in today's nope. world. I'm history. You know, yes, probably not. It'd yeah. be too boring Guess for the kids. Ads, yeah, especially with like, phone. yeah, yeah technology. The cards yeah. do not actually talk. It, yeah. It just—it definitely disappointing when you're a kid when you first get that because you think it's gonna talk. Really? But then it don't, I don't talk. I remember that. But yeah, I could see being disappointed. But I don't know if I remember being disappointed. Yeah, but that was definitely man brain wreck. Like I so know. many like it was so good. memories. <laughs> it was definitely good with Mars, man. Oh, I love these. Yeah. I love these '90s ones. They're yeah, so they're definitely fun. yeah fun to watch, uh, man. But but agree in this video. Mm -hmm. If you want to send a special video question. Check out the links on Streamlabs. It's going to be in the description and our video calls. Your support going a long way. Don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your man, Moya B. And Nicole. I'm going to catch you on our next episode. Peace and love, baby.